All right, guys, let's get it started off here at Target. So I went to Target because I'd heard there's a whole bunch of clearance deals and that the Mandalorian Black Series figure had been there. Well, unfortunately, I didn't find any of that. But I did find these really cool NECA figures in the style of the Kenner uh, figures. Absolutely love them. NECA really did Kenner justice with those. The package you designed there really harkens back to that, gets you the, that nostalgic grab. Really good figures. I was looking for the Bebop and Rock study here, and surprise, surprise, was not able to find that either. Target also had a very nice end cap of Dragon Ball Z figures, so if that's something you're into, head up Target. Now for Star Wars, they had a few things on clearance, a few things not really on clearance. They had the Sith Trooper, which is pretty cool, and they had the Dagobah set, but the Dagobah set was full price. So the Target had their stuff split up in a couple different sections here, so this was the other part of the Star Wars section. They had tons of Moloch and the you know regular Black Series figures that you see everywhere, but nothing really special. Now, as far as Marvel Legend goes, they didn't really have anything new, but they did have some of the older waves, especially that Captain Marvel wave, on clearance. Starting to see that wave show up on clearance in a lot of different stores. Target's Jurassic Park section, guys, was looking good. The Brachiosaurus there is so cool, and they also had some other really cool new dinosaurs out on display. Now, oddly enough, my Kroger had a like Star Wars display end cap thing set up, and they had some Black Series figures. Uh, my Kroger never really carries much toys, so it's worth taking a dive in there and sharing that with you. So up here we have the first Walmart I stopped at, and their toy aisles, guys, were they were really messy, like really bad. Like look at this, like they were. They had stock, which was nice, but they were just piled on top of each other, which I, I don't know. You know, you go to these stores sometimes and you just, you just wonder about their toy sections. This Jurassic Park set right here, guys, with the uh, motorcycle and everything, I thought that was a very cool set. Uh, it had a lot of good playability right there. You got your dinosaur, you got your Owen, perfect. Hey guys, I also just want to take a quick moment to apologize for, if my voice sounds a little bit different here, I'm just getting over a sinus infection. Uh, that's one of the reasons my voice might sound a little bit different and another reason why this video is coming out just a little bit later than usual. So this Walmart here had some quality displays though, if nothing else. They had the really cool Game of Thrones display right there, and then they had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game, you know, set up there with the one-ups. My brother and I had a good time playing that for a little bit too. So after Walmart, ran on over to GameStop who had some great figure selection, fully loaded there, plenty of Star Wars Black Series, Marvel's Legends, and so on and so forth. So the last time I went to Five Below, they were hit very hard for the holidays. Uh, it looks like they had some time to recover. Uh, they had a bunch of Last Jedi stuff back out on the peg, so I don't know if they got a new case of that in, or if they just found it in the back, because it's been a very long time since I've seen any Last Jedi product out on Five Below shelves. So next up, went to Meyer. Uh, they had both Alberto and the Foot Lieutenant. So for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line, uh, both figures that I have found very hard to find out in the wild. I don't collect the line, just don't dig the style, but I thought it was worth sharing. So the Star Wars section at Meyer, uh, not really much there. 
Uh, they had the off-world Jawa, but other than that, it was pretty much just Jen Urso and Snokes, so nothing I was looking for. So that brings us to our second Walmart we stopped at. They had this very cool Skywalker Saga display set up. They had the gold Funko Pops there. They had some Funko product, uh, like the t-shirts. And then they also had this spot here uh, for the DVD when it comes out, slash Blu-ray. So uh, they're gearing up for that release here at Walmart already. Now, the two packs here, the gold figures, those were actually on clearance for $9. Uh, still didn't pick any of those up just because I don't really like the gold style of the figures. Uh, for the uh, vintage collection, really the only thing that stood out to me was the Lando and Skiff disguise right there, guys, because I haven't seen that figure out in the wild yet, honestly. So this Walmart did have some good clearance. They had the TMNT figures for $5, but they only had Donatello's and one Raphael, so not much selection. And they also had uh, a couple Jurassic Park figures on sale too. But the big find at this Walmart was the WWE Masters of the Universe figures. Uh, I really like these figures. Uh, they're awesome. I love crossovers like this. Uh, I think it's a perfect mashup with WWE and the Masters of the Universe. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and may the force be with you. Yeah.